What are you doing now? What are you doing now? What are you doing now? Since March of 2020, this has been the question I've been asked the most. Let's go back to a time when I was 16 years old, walking into a room in a place that I'd never been before. Lights flashing, the ground rumbling, the walls rumbling, a temperature so hot, but it didn't matter. A consistent sound, boom, 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 boom. A crowd electrified and energized, hanging on to every word and every action of the musical giants on the stage in front of us. In that moment, I knew this was something special. It was something I wanted to be a part of. And in that moment, a guitar pick comes flying from the stage across over the crowd and I reach my hand up to try to get it. I miss it. The music's getting louder. The pick's falling to the ground. I get down on my hands and knees and I scramble to try to get this pick. For me, that pick represented everything. For me, that pick was me taking home that night, being a part of that night. And guess who came up with the guitar pick? From that moment on, I knew I wanted to do everything I could to recreate that feeling, to continue to be a part of that exchange of energy from artist to crowd, artist to fans. 15 years later, I'm the musician I've always aspired to be. I've toured all over the country. I've done nationwide tours as well as international tours. And I have the incredible opportunity to recreate that feeling, throw out the guitar pick, to a 16 year old just like myself, to engage with a crowd, to be part of that exchange of energy. March 2020, venues close, lights go out, and the crowds go home. What are you doing now? What am I doing now? So I turned to social media. I wanted to continue to utilize a platform and continue creating that dialogue between myself and my audience. On March 18, 2020, I made a post and I asked the fans, what's the last concert you saw before the COVID-19 lockdowns? Think about that. What is the last concert I saw before the COVID-19 lockdowns? At a venue where that exchange is so special and so unique and so unlike anything else, I thought it was important to reminisce on that feeling, kind of hold on to that feeling that we may not be experiencing for a long time. Then I thought about sharing. I thought about how can we all inspire each other to continue pushing through this, this weird and interesting time. On March 28th, 2020, I asked, share something positive you've been doing during this time. What is something positive you've been doing this, during this time? And the comments that came in served as inspiration for myself and inspiration for others in our community. We had things like, I've been practicing yoga daily, to I convinced my boss to donate N95 masks to a local hospital. Then live streaming became an option for us to bring a performance to the fans. The big challenge being going from this to this. Going from four to 500 fans at a venue, real smiling faces, to one camera lens. My challenge being how can I recreate the energy that's fueled by the audience, an energy that's fueled from what I can hear, what I can see, what I can feel. Smiling faces, real smiling faces. So here's an example of that platform. I'm here in my bedroom, I'm doing an acoustic performance, offering up a Q&A to the fans, and there's a chat box that you see where fans can request the songs they want to hear. And I'm encouraging the fans to ask the questions. I say, where are you guys tuning in from? Shout out your town, shout out your city. Say what up to the other fans who are tuned in on the live stream. As well as if you're enjoying yourself today, put a bunch of smiley face emojis, put a bunch of flame emojis, palm tree emojis, and you can see the energy created as the comments come in and as the emojis come in. We're forced to seek the connection in a different way. It's different than the exchange that happens at the venue. Here, the energy is still created through the emoticons and an emoji, a smiley face emoji, represents a real smile from a real fan. But social media and live streaming didn't quite seem to be enough. I wanted to connect to my audience in a deeper way, in a different way. I was thinking about my 16 year old self looking up at my favorite artist, and that feeling that I had, I wanted to take that feeling to another level. I started offering music lessons. 
one-on-one, -on -one, one hour sessions, opened it up to my audience, I promoted it on social media, as well as mentioned it in live streams. But I kind of thought I'd try to offer something different and open up a channel to connect in a different way. My first lesson was a woman from France. On the other side of the world, to have my first lesson from a woman in France, I mean, gets, I'm just ecstatic at this point. But she's telling me about her experiences with the music and how reggae has impacted her life. She pulled out this ukulele and she's like, I'd love to learn some of your songs on this ukulele. And so I taught her some basic strumming patterns and chords. And we hit it off. And she told me her story. The big takeaway for me was getting to know her that much more, putting a face to a name, someone that has been interacting on social media and live streaming. But to get to know her that much more and know her story was everything for me, that connection, that full circle connection. One of my most memorable students is a young girl named Madison. She's 11 years old. We're going on eight weeks of piano lessons now. She's from Chicago, by the way. Shout out to Chicago. Her and I have been learning some of the songs from my record. She's really enthusiastic about it. She has a good natural ear and approach to music. It's been a joy teaching her. It's been a joy getting to know her family. They're big reggae fans. K-Bong music is, is a daily part of their lives in their house. So teaching her is just really fluid and connecting with her is really fluid. I wanted to show you an example of one of our lessons. Here it is, check it out. Three okay. times in a row, three times in a row, nice and slow, peaceful. Let's see if you can get it really good here. I think you got this, you got this. Three good ones. That was awesome. <laughs> music lesson connection. Through these music lessons, I've been able to connect to my fan base in a different, deeper, and more meaningful way. I've done about 160 lessons since March with different fans of all ages, and it's been incredibly rewarding. Now imagine when we return to concerts again. That connection will be that much more meaningful, knowing what we went through together. We adapted through social media, live streaming, and music lessons. We got to know each other that much more, artist and fan, fan and artist. The full circle exchange of energy. When we exchange a smile at the venue, at the concert, it'll mean that much more, knowing that we know each other that much more. I'm not gonna just see faces out there. I'm gonna see James who took ukulele lessons from me. There's Stacy who took guitar lessons and excelled. There's Madison and her family enjoying the show, having a good time and she's continuing to be a better musician every day. Knowing that we connected and that we adapted together will mean that much more. Before I go, I would like to ask if I could connect with you through song. I'm gonna sing a section and I ask that you sing along wherever you are, your living room or your car, your office, your home, I'll sing the line first, and then it's your turn to sing after that. Here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then it's your turn. Here you go. Whoa. And I'll sing the line. Here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's super simple. You got it. Your turn. Yeah. I think we can do it a little bit louder this time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Your turn. Here you go. Open my eyes. Cause there's nothing that we can do. Connection between me and you. Open my eyes. Thanks so much for the opportunity to share with you today. Hope you have a beautiful day, a beautiful night. And if you have a favorite artist or musician, I encourage you to connect with them as much as possible. Peace and be well.